Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio. Going to take it out to a fighter that will be participating in 559 Fights number 7, the NorCal Finals. Please welcome to the show, my man, Isaiah Gonzalez. Isaiah, welcome to the show, my man. How are you? I'm doing good, man. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. You know, sounds like fun. Looking forward to the interview. All right, my man. Now, uh, you're making your way into the 559 for uh, the final, uh, the NorCal final. Uh, let's start with how long you've been training and where exactly are you training at? You know, um, I've been consistently training. Um, so for this fight, I would say it's a, it's a layover from my last one because I just fought over uh, less than a month or a little over a month ago. So I've just been continually training since then and, and haven't stopped to make sure that I'm, you know, at the best fit level and completely ready for whatever um, comes my way. And I am training out of um, Dorco's Gym, which is NorCal Fight Factory, and it's a great gym and it's a you know great team. And we just train really hard. And you know our motto is always be ready to fight. So <laughs> unfortunately for us, the camp it just never ends. So we just always are ready. <laughs> nice. Now, do you have a wrestling background? How would you describe your style? Uh, I originally started out in boxing, and then I, which later went to taekwondo, and then. Uh, when MMA started coming out, I just felt like that was the next big thing. So I went into jujitsu and started doing Muay Thai and then, uh, fell into the, the gym I'm at now and, um, just started putting it all together. But, uh, as far as styles go, I really feel comfortable everywhere. And I, um, don't really, I do have a preference as far as like where I like to be. I like to stand and, and trade. I just think that it's a lot of fun and fans like to see it. And so I like to do it. But uh, it's not to say that I'm not comfortable everywhere. I'm comfortable everywhere, and I have no problem, you know, taking the fight wherever it needs to be. All right, now you're fighting a guy named uh, Jesse Hernandez. What do you know about your opponent? You know, I don't know much other than the fact that he's really, really tough, uh, and that he's uh, he's a gamer, and that he comes out there to fight. And um, you know, he's a uh, he's a really impressive fighter. You know, tough, durable. So I got to be really tough and durable myself, and just be ready for anything. And uh, you know. I'm not really sure as far as like how our styles will mix up, but um, if he likes to stand and I just stand, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll be a nice fight for the fans and they'll really enjoy it. Now, how's the experience been so far in the tournament? It seems to me like it's quite a grind. Like they kind of lock you in for multiple months, and I mean they don't give you much time between fights. Uh, talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> you know the tournament's not too bad. You know I think for me it's not as bad just because. Um, I'm so used to like always fighting once a month and always just the fight camp is never ending. We just always have to be prepared for the next show. And we don't know when it's going to be, if it's next month or two months from now. So um, for me, it's not as bad, but yeah, I, I can definitely see how that could be kind of grueling. Some people do like to have some time off in between, collect themselves before the next fight. You know, I think I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit of a glen when it comes to that. I, I love fighting. So if I could fight every two weeks, I would. <laughs> don't bother me, none. Wow. All right. Now you got a record of four and two. Uh, kind of what's yeah. the game plan? How many more uh, amateur fights will you uh, participate in before you turn pro or you're not going to turn pro? I always have aspirations of turning pro. Um, I'm definitely not going um, to, uh, you know, start my growth as a fighter, though. Uh, whenever my coach, you know, says I'm ready is when I'll, I'll turn pro. You know, I have full faith in him and you know, he, he definitely knows how to get us ready and, and make sure we're prepared. So when the time comes to turn pro, uh, we'll be ready to go, you know, and I uh, definitely don't want to be a cup in a big, huge shark tank, you know. Nice. So could be strong. Nice. All right. Well, it's going down October 27th. Uh, what can we expect? We're looking for a knockout. You're looking to choke somebody out. How's it going to, how's it going down, my man? You know, we should, uh, you know, we got two tough fighters. You know, I know, I know I'm tough and he's tough, but we, we should look for a really high pace. You know, lots of action fight and something that, you know, the fans are going to remember. But as far as myself, I'm always looking to finish. So, you know, I can't really say how it's going to come out. But, I'll, I mean, I'm always looking for the W, and, and you should look for me to come out there to win to finish. You know, I don't like the judges. But, you know, we'll have to see. You know, he's a tough opponent. So, you know, I got to give him that respect. So I, I couldn't tell you. But a finish for sure is what I'm looking for. All right. Well, I know you probably got some tickets on you, or the gym's got some tickets on you. If we wanted to get tickets for this bout, where would we get those at? I know that you could go on the 559 website, and then, uh, you know, everyone's got Facebook. Go on Facebook. Go ahead and get that on there. Friend them. Like them. Please check it out. You know, we do have some tickets over at my gym, uh, Dark Horse Gym, Rock Factory, 96 Almaden Boulevard, San Jose. You know, come on through, you know, and 
you know, come support the fight. You know, we really appreciate all the fans. You know, the fans are really what makes it happen. And, uh, you know, so that's why when I go out there to fight, I want to put on a show for the fans, you know, and show them that we really appreciate the, the support, you know, to make the fights happen. All right. And the last thing, anybody you want to shout out before I let you go today, my man? Yeah, for sure. I, you know, I really want to thank my gym, Dark Horse uh, Gym, the home of Norcal Fight Factory. You know, it's we got a great group of guys there. We're just a real big family. And, uh, you know, I really couldn't do it without them. You know, win, lose, if I win this championship or not, you know, it's going to be because of them. And, uh, you know, it's really not my championship. At all. It's like all of ours. And uh, I want to thank my sponsors, Fight Logic. Um, you know, they're awesome sponsors. They really take care of us, you know. Great guys. Come check out their gear, Fight Logic gear, on Facebook, online. They're great couple guys, man. They really make sure the fight is taken care of. And, uh, you know, I got to thank my loved ones, my beautiful girlfriend and my mom. They always put up with me, you know. I'm a little bit hard to handle when I'm cutting weight, so, you know, I really want to thank everyone <laughs> who supports me. Nice. All right, my man. Well, it was great talking to you. We're definitely looking forward to uh, seeing you on the scales October 27th in Tulare, California, and we will see you in action that night. I want to thank you again. Most definitely. Thank you guys for having me. I hope you guys uh, have a great time and enjoy my fight. Thank you. All right, my man. Take care. All right, take care.